Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI, playing as the Khmer. Um, we got a couple builders coming out, which we're probably going to try and hold off on the Enlightenment until they finish, because I think these are the last two builders I need to finish off some stuff. We got another settler coming out, which I'm probably going to plop in this area somewhere around here to uh, hopefully get me a really good um, um, faith uh, producing, uh, what am I trying to say? Holy site. There we go. Um, in this area, because we really, I would really love to like double my, my holy site production, which doesn't seem very likely. Um, currently a lot of them are producing, you know, 20 plus. So if I wanted to get 300, I would need, I would need like 15 cities just doing that. Unless I can get up to like 30 plus, then I would need, um, 10 cities. So yeah, I mean, we got, we got our work hard out for us if we want to double that, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see what's going on here. We got plenty, a decent amount of gold. I say plenty, not plenty, but we got a decent amount of gold coming in. Culture is terrible. But uh, we got another trade route coming up here. Seven turns. That'll finish off that one. That's going to be good. Um, we need you to gain sources. Let's start with that, and then we'll work our way up to uh, the spaceport stuff. Really just need to do a, a good job of slowing down slowing down the, the computer control characters just so I can uh, build up my forces enough to come after him. Because really, here's the way it works with, with deity games. I mean, I'm probably not playing this, you know, as well as I should have to, 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 to win a good, strong deity game. Some of that, maybe a lot of that has to do with this really, really poor start. But I was determined to just see it through and see what I can do with it. Um, but there is the great equalizer in all deity games, if you can last this long. If you can survive past the cultural or the um, the uh, scientific victories, a little bit less so the the, the, the um, holy victories. I mean, it's something you got to worry about a little bit, but I think it's a little bit harder for the c computer characters to get those. It seems to me, at least. Uh, but at least the cultural and the um, and the um, scientific ones, they can all do within their own little bases, their own little worlds. They don't have to go out into the to to, to the um, to the other areas to, to win those. And so. If you can survive past those, the equalizer is that eventually they run out of tech and you don't and you catch up with them on military and you can um, eventually get the same troops that they have and just go stomp on them. So, and also as a human player, even on a data game, you can typically get by with a, a tier less um, military and still do some, do some pretty good damage and hold your own. So... Really, as soon as we get artillery and at least a good, strong option for a frontline unit, we should be able to go do some pretty good stuff against some of these troops. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, that's kind of the goal. Let's go ahead and pop you. Get you there. Uh, yeah, you're going to go ahead and stick up mine. That's going to be fine. It's not great, but it's something. Three production, one food. It's not terrible. It does use up the last of that guy's builds. Um, I think you're going to get one more builder as well was the plan because you're going to be the guy that helps with this stuff along with this guy. So that's two builders there. Um, not much to do down here. You got four builds currently. So farm, farm, farm and something over here on these woods probably is going to be fine. Actually, that one right there is going to need to be our aqueduct, so we'll put the farm down here, uh, and then we'll do something with these woods. I don't know if we'll lumber mill them or what we'll do, but something. Uh, so, it's declared war on Tomaris Pericles. That's a good one. Go beat him up, so, uh, Scythia. Um, you go ahead and start hooking these things up. That's going to be great. And repairing those other things. Yeah, I know. I'm a disgrace. Don't worry. I'm, I'm coming back for you. I'm coming to get some of that territory you keep picking on me about not having. Sure. We'll take an embassy. Why not? Stay. We'll stay friendly with you guys until we, we have to go to war. Man, I was really hoping to get these uh monks leveled up enough to actually be worth something. But it's just they, I got them too late or I, I was too secluded to really mess with them. Um... 
and they're just so far behind now that it's just impossible to get them leveled up enough. I'm going to keep them near my other troops because, I mean, maybe they'll... I'll find ways to get them some experience here and there. I don't know. Uh, and if I do, then then that's a way to get them some... Uh, get them leveled up to be relevant, but it's, it's not going to be easy. Uh, so you're going to come down here, put a farm there. Let's come over here and repair that. Oh, there it is. Keep an eye on enlightenment, which I'm sure I'm going to forget. Uh, just going to repair that one. All right, settler, where do I want you to be? Um, like over here. No, not there. Um, I guess right here would be a really good. Not snow, actually. Um. I was trying to keep it next to like a couple mountains, but it's not going to be easy to do that and stick it next to the river. I wish this one was the river, but it's not. It's that little inlet or, or the, 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 what's not the mouth. It's the, is it the head of the river? I guess. I don't know. Because this is obviously the mouth of the river. Um, there's not really any other good places to put you. I could stick you to next to this other holy site over here and, um, just ignore the mountains altogether. I actually stick a maybe a science spot over here in the mountains. That might not be too bad. So if I were going to put a holy site there, science thing somewhere over there. And that kind of points to maybe in this little spot, sticking a, a city. Again, I mean, the food's not going to be great. The whole point is not to get, it's not, he's not here for the food. We'd have to get like a dedicated trade route to bring food in. But really, it's just to get another faith spot. Just just a holy site over here that... Um, and it's, it doesn't even have to be a very big city. It can be like a three-pop city just like that. But just producing out as much faith as I possibly can get. And uh, ultimately, I think that's going to be good for us. Why well, am I not seeing that on this list? It's getting three faith, isn't it? Oh, the aqueduct's not done yet. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, why is that not coming up? It's showing three faith, but it's not actually finished yet. Uh, of course not. Uh, and if we put it over here, we can stick an aqueduct, you know, nearby to get it a little bit of faith from that way as well. So I think right here is fine. It's going to be right off the road. It's going to be fine. Again, not a strong city, but the whole point of the city, it's a purpose city to, to get us another faith spot. And it can also sneak in some, uh, some science if we really wanted to. All right, you're going to get us one more builder. I think that's going to be fine for now. Got four more turns on the enlightenment. Brazil's built a spaceport. Oh, that's going to be something we got to worry about. Any great people are even in, within reach. Sure would be nice to get us a great general, but I don't see that happening. Nah, nothing else is really even worth it. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, okay, so farm here. Uh, go ahead and hook up the fish. That's going to be great. Three more turns on enlightenment. You still like the fact that I'm surrounded by a, according to you, impressive military, which surprises me a bit. A rifleman until you've walked a mile in his shoes. All right, um, come over here, and I guess we'll just make it a lumber mill. It's probably going to be fine. We could chop it down, but I think it'll be fine to make it a lumber mill. All right, you, anything down here I need to put in? I don't think so. Let's just make your way up to this stuff. You got three builds left. Let's go for the deer first. All right, you actually need to, uh, let's see. I kind of want to just hold on to you to move you over to the city over here. In fact, let's get this city moving up that direction. So as soon as we build that city, I'd like to move you there. So we're just going to chill you there for a second. All right. Um, 
What now? It's going to get walls just just to be have a way to fire back. They're not going to be super strong walls, but it's better than nothing. Two more turns on the enlightenment. Oop, friendship expired. We'll go ahead and renew that. We might as well. Just to keep up appearances for now. Coal mine. Do we have the technology to reveal coal yet? We don't. So we could get a boost if we go for that. Um, I mean, it does distract us off of the artillery, which we really, really want to get. We're coming down here and getting the... Uh, and if we can get some tanks as a frontline unit, that'd be pretty awesome. AT crews, infantry. If to get infantry, we actually still don't need industrialization. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's get industrialization working. We need three workshops. How many do we have? Or how many can we have? We can have one there. Uh, one there, which we're actually about to build. And do you guys not have one over here? You don't. So we would still need to build another one entirely. Well, it's not impossible. Let's just start working that, at least get it halfway. We'll figure it out from there. I mean, I don't want to delay, delay what we're going for too much. But if we can get a little boost here and there, that's always a good thing. All right, uh, we should be able to move you over, get you built. All righty, and you are going to move over to there, get him going. Builder, uh, your job is actually to move up here and start improving this guy right away. Before I forget, let's move off the Enlightenment. Uh, mercantilism is fine. And as soon as we get uh, this builder, the one that's got eight turns left, that'll be our cue to go ahead and finish off Enlightenment. All right, what about you? Um, I don't know, actually. Do we want to go get another city somewhere? Could technically stick one in here somewhere. Especially with some of these fish and stuff, it wouldn't be, like, completely dead in the water. Uh, we can stick one up there with the pearls. Again, just going for things that have good faith. Um, faith production. Over here with some crabs and stuff. Wouldn't be terrible. And of course, there's a whole bunch of spots over there. But the problem with these over here is it's going to be really hard for us to defend against um, Rome with those at the moment. So I have, what, eight cities? I would like to at least, you know, ten would be a good number. Ten, not necessarily highly productive cities, but just ones that are producing massive amounts of faith. And maybe could sneak in a, uh, sneak in a little bit of a, a science thing here and there if I, if I can get them built up just enough. Won't be easy like over here, but it would be doable. Actually, one right here. Uh, only problem with this one is there's no river, so maybe not. This one over here at least has a river nearby. Like, if I stuck it right here, you can move over to get the deer. Um, actually, if I put it here, you can get an aqueduct still, which it's a thing. You can still get the faith maybe over here, off this river. Because the aqueduct can come off the mountain. And they can get one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Get the crabs, get the deer, get the crabs. Could actually have some decent food. It would have terrible production. But the production I care about with this city right here would be the the the, the faith. I actually somehow, for some just weirdly strange reason, like that. And I don't know why. Alright, uh you. Well, we definitely want the holy site as soon as possible, but your first focus will be to get 
probably a monument just to be able to uh, push out your borders enough to get the holy side that we want. Once we get the uh, trade route up, it'll help a lot. Very, very unusual way to kind of go for things, but if we can buy enough time with the science stuff, I think it can work. Uh, just one production if we use it for uh, lumber, but there's so, so light production around here. I feel like it's probably fine just to go ahead and get us the lumber mill. It's going to be all right. All right, you. Food and f production is your biggest thing. So it looks like Encore Tom is going to be our best bet. So I guess I lied. I guess I'm going to get one more builder after this because it needs to come over here and help improve these things. Be ready to, you know, improve what it can. All right, you have one build left. Um, what are you working on? Seven turns to there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and send you back over here. And as soon as we get that, we'll uh, we'll send you over there. It's gonna be fine. All right, builder, you are. I think you were gonna be responsible for doing this, doing the stuff up here. So let's just go ahead and send you up to. Some of these forests. If you can start rush building a few things, that could help us a lot. All right, you. Oh yeah, that's right. One more builder, and that's gonna be fine. It's actually gonna line up perfectly with that. Once those two builders pop out, and then we can swap over to uh, the enlightenment. More envoys means more gold. You get another workshop somewhere. If I'm going to finish this off, which is probably going to take us too long to get there, but it's at least worth thinking about a little bit. All right, you finished that. Um, I'm sure, what else I want to move do over here? You technically could put a uh, aqueduct over here. Hmm. You have two builds. I don't think I'm going to use this for anything right away. So let's just go ahead and put a farm there. We'll probably put the farm over here as well. And it's going to be fine. All right, you. Oh, you can get a meeting house, which gives you some more production and a lot of faith. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on i say the Prasat. Um, actually, housing capped as well, so the aqueduct would come in handy. Nope, let's see your aqueduct. Just so I know where it's going to be, because I don't want to forget that that's where that is. I don't think I would, but just in case. You still actually need walls. All right, Builder, just go ahead and uh, go to sleep till we expand out a little bit more. You should start hugging some stuff up. One more build. What are you working at the moment? You working any of that stuff that I could improve? Not at the moment. Could also wait until you get the crabs over here. Eh, let's go ahead and build, build this. It's going to be fine. Can't imagine I'll have any coal up in this area. I don't know. Maybe up here. I don't remember what the uh, kind of biases for coal are. So some lumber mills wouldn't be terrible, I suppose. I could also just chop these, but if I chop them, they're just completely worthless at that point. So lumber mills it is. I oh, got a jet over there. Um, So... 
Wait, do you not have... Oh, somebody's already sabotaged it. Okay. Well, where else could we send you? John Curtin. So yours is sabotaged. I think that's the only one I saw. Do you have another one built that I just haven't seen yet? Not seeing another one. That's probably staring me right in the face, but I'm really not seeing it. Well, we've come this far, so let's at least get something out of this. Uh, sure, let's just get um, some gold. It's a halfway decent chance to succeed. And maybe we can get some leveling up out of you to send you after another, uh, like send you after John Curtin or something. Which we do need to go after John Curtin ASAP. John Curtin. Actually, you're building some stuff up too. Uh, trade route. Uh, so we have 33 turns here. Anything? Anybody else? Anything worse? No. So 33 turns is definitely the worst one. So let's get you something with production. We did have you at going over here, which is probably fine. Just a couple production. Still at least getting some gold and science and stuff. I think I'm fine with that. I was like, what did I have over that just said one food and one production? It was something I couldn't do, obviously. But I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it threw me off for a second. All right. Lumber mills. Again, we have to get our food from trade routes, which is fine. I don't need you to be big. I just need you to be big enough to build at least a place that which you can do right away. And hopefully a science place. And that would make me pretty happy. Still need some amenities and things. Goodness. And there's silly scouts up here. Go away. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and go back home. Just go ahead and just, you can chill there. That's going to be fine. Could upgrade you, but again, we don't have the thing plugged in yet. All right, your goal. What is your goal? Could start putting lumber mills on these things. I thought about chopping them, but honestly, lumber mills would give me two food and two production. It's not terrible. I mean, they're not great by any stretch of the imagination, but again, if I'm not counting on this city getting really big, just okay, then that's actually not too bad. I will need to chop these woods once we expand over there at some point. Purchase it, but we're going to grow there in five turns. Perfect. So if I go ahead and just use you to uh, lumber mill this. Wait a minute, let me think for a second. Could put an industrial zone up here, but honestly, you're never going to have enough food to really matter. So I don't need to be thinking that direction. If anything else comes over here, it would be, like I said, an, a science thing up against these mountains or something like that. Let's just do that. That's going to be fine. Same with you. You're going to move over there and do that as well. Uh, so you finished your workshop. Get you some walls, but you're kind of up here out of the way. I'm not too worried about you. Wish there was a way to get some food. Actually, one thing we should probably just do. Is there a way to... Um... Yeah, there is. Of course there is. Like, not grow. It's ignoring food. That's not what I'm looking for. Used to be a way just to not grow, and I don't remember if there's a way to do that still. Doesn't appear to be. Alright, well, I guess we'll just fluctuate back and forth between 9 and 10. It's, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. You're basically as big as you're ever going to get, and that's just... I gotta accept that and be fine with that, which I kind of am. 
Um, obviously, if you ever got up to 10, we can get another thing. But for now, I'm okay with it. So really, I could use you to build anything. Well, you know what? We're going to make that decision next time. Actually, I'm a little bit over my time, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.